All right, so uh, so I've imported my wallet. Okay, I imported my wallet where I have you know less than one dollar BP two. So I'm going to start the process of recovering. So somebody over here already is asking me how does he you know do his recovery. So. Okay, so this is the documentation. Okay, this is the documentation for the from BNB chain on how to do the token recovery. All right. Okay, so here is the main net link. You can see that here, main net link BNB chain org english token recovery so let me open that okay all right so the first step i need to do is to connect my wallet okay and um hold on cookies everywhere all right let's scroll down connect wallet to view tokens so for those of you guys that are not seeing your bp2 token wallet on this page on the trust wallet you can only see it on the recovery wallet so we're going to click connect to view wallet so i click trust wallet okay i'm going to approve here approve the connection all right Okay, taking some time. All right, so let's connect. Okay, so you can see it. I've connected. It's very simple. Okay. Um, I've connected. You can see my wallet is connected here. You can say recover now. That is 0 0.00. That is 0.009. Now this is the recovery process. Okay, this is the recovery process. You can see select token and initiate recovery enter the bsc wallet okay so if i'm going to enter the bsc wallet it has to be the bsc wallet from this wallet so in this case i can copy the bsc wallet like click receive copy the bsc wallet here uh -huh. it's very straightforward okay but i'm not doing any recovery recovery because it's very small but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to go through the whole recovery process okay all right so enter bsc recover address uh, recovery address which is the receiver address which is the address that's going to receive the bsc okay that's number one number two is confirm switch to bsc network and send transaction which means i need to have bsc which is some bnb smart chain on this uh, wallet that i imported to uh, my trust wallet browser extension chrome extension then refiner recovery takes seven days so we're just going to go to so we're going to click now now any token that is not minted okay by bnb chain will not appear in this list let me say that because a lot of people have asked me about ftm a lot of people have asked me about dogecoin okay if those tokens are not minted by bnb chain themselves like you will have with bitcoin and probably with ethereum if they are not minted by bnb chain then you won't see it on this list even if you see it on this list it will mention label it on bound token which means it's not bounded on them to recover the tokens for you so which means you have to look for whoever created the token and if you can't find the person then uh you consider that a loss unless there is something that comes up in the future so click on recover now okay automatically it already imputed the address like i said it will take the bnb address 
okay from this wallet all right you can see it's the same bnb smart chain wallet now if you want to change to a different wallet you can either click change the receiver wallet and you edit this and put in the receiver wallet address that you want but if you don't want to do that just leave it as it is and we'll move to the next step now i'm awaiting confirmation which means i need to have some bnb smart chain to be able to do the confirmation so let's see what happens okay all right so i have to sign a transaction okay approving please confirm this transaction in your wallet or ledger okay i've done that so now that is an approval what you see me do there was an approval so i've done the approval okay the next is switch to bnc smart chain network so i'll switch to bnc smart chain network all right okay just be patient Like I said, this is just to show you guys the step-by-step -step process. I don't have any BNBs, I don't have any BAC smart chain coin in this wallet to be able to do the recovery because the token there is less than one dollar. So right now I've done the switch to network. So I'm going to click okay, approve. Alright, so now is the time that requires the gas fee. So first step was to connect wallet, second step was to um initiate recovery third step was to approve the connection okay i think first step now we did was switch to network switch to bsc smart chain network okay sorry uh the third step after connecting and uh, clicking recover now and imputing smart chain wallet address and uh, confirming the smart chain wallet address switching to network now we have to confirm by spending some bsc smart chain okay so this should give us an idea of how much bsc smart chain is required for us to do the recovery because what i have here in this wallet is less than one dollar so that's why i'm not doing the complete recovery process and i don't have any other bep2 token so right let's be patient all right insufficient gas fee so i have zero bmb i don't know how much bmb was looking for i don't know if you can find the exact amount okay but like i said hey you need to have at least one dollar to five dollar bmb in your wallet okay just in case all right the worst case scenario is that it doesn't use up the whole bnb smart chain which means you still have some smart chain in your wallet okay so i don't have any bnb but this is the whole process of you know recovering your your bnb bp2 because if i initiate if i had a gas fee here and i confirm it the only step remaining is that i have to wait for seven days to be able to receive the smart chain version of the bp2 token that i have in my wallet okay all right so i'm going to just reject this no need wasting our time so um that's it for this video okay you can see it here so step one uh, select token initiate recovery after connecting wallet step two enter bac smart chain address is either you you enter the one that is in the wallet you, in your chrome extension or you enter a different wallet then you confirm okay the next step is to switch to cs bac network the next step is send transaction which is where bac smart chain token is uh, coin token is required then the next step is you wait seven days to finalize and tokens recover to your, your receiver address automatically all right guys um that's it for this video uh, it's a simple straightforward process if you still have questions that i've done the practical video i'll be free i'll be available to answer your questions uh in the comment section thank you guys for watching to then bye for now